Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I am going to share with you 10 important tips to help you learn Filmora 9 faster. These tips and tricks are what I've learned when editing my videos using Filmora 9. You will learn about how to set up your project, preferences, marking in and out point for your media, how to view your whole timeline, and how to back up your project. Why should you enable Ripple Edit feature in Filmora 9? How to copy and paste an object on the timeline, and more. Let's getting started now. This is the start page when you open Filmora 9. You can create a new project, open your recent project, or click any of your projects at this library to start making videos. Down below is the option to hide this start page when opening Filmora 9. Before importing media files into Filmora 9, don't forget to select correct aspect ratio for you project at this drop down menu. 16 by 9 is the international standard format of HDTV, non HD digital television, and analog widescreen television. It's also the most common use aspect ratio when it comes to creating YouTube videos. If you don't need to display your video on a specific platform like Instagram or Facebook, just select 16 by 9 aspect ratio for your project. For cinematic travel vlogs, or movies, you can select 21 by 9 aspect ratio. All in all, selecting an aspect ratio for your project depends on the platform you are going to share your videos, and your original footage resolution. Normally, I will publish my video on YouTube, I will always choose 16 by 9. Then, click New Project button to jump into Filmora 9 Editing Workspace. Before importing your footage into this library, go to File Menu, select Project Settings again. Here you can also change your aspect ratio settings if you want. And secondly, select your project resolution, choose 1080p or 4K resolution depends on your original footage. Don't forget to lock your aspect ratio settings here so that it won't change along the way. Finally, select your project frame rate to finish your initial project settings. Click OK to go back to the timeline. Tip number 2, always check your preferences settings before starting a new project with Filmora 9. At the main workspace, Go to File Menu, select Preferences. Here you will need to know where your important folders are located, where Filmora 9 backup your project, set up backup time to minimum, and change the location of your backup folder as well as your project folder if you want. This information is very important especially for those of you who are editing videos on low-end laptops. Filmora 9 can crash as unexpected any time. Lastly, check your performance tab to make sure that your settings are correct to get rid of lag issue while editing videos. When everything is OK, click OK to save your settings, the Restart Filmora 9 so that it can apply these settings to your current project. Tip number 3, always set begin and end point for your media before drag and drop it onto the timeline. To do that, just double click on the video in the media library, preview it and press I on your keyboard to set an end point, and press O to set an out point. By doing this, you don't need to drop the whole clip onto the timeline, which will require lots of time to render. By doing this, you don't need to drop the whole clip onto the timeline which will require lots of time to render. Tip number 4, when editing videos, in many cases, you will have to stretch out your editing timeline. To go back to a position along the timeline, you can either use your slides or playhead along the timeline, or do the same trick with this little blue dot below the preview window. The playhead on the editing timeline and this blue dot are synchronized with each other. Added to that, you can also press this button or Shift plus Z on your keyboard to view everything on your timeline. Tip number 5, always check the ripple edit box when you want to change the speed of your video. If this ripple edit is on check, you won't be able to extend the duration of your clip if there is no empty gap on the right side of your clip. For example, if I uncheck ripple edit box and slow down a selected clip, let's see what happens on the timeline. Nothing happens here. So, if you meet this issue, don't forget to check Ripple Edit option in your video speed control window. Tip number 6, always use render button when you add new object on the timeline while editing, especially those of you who are editing videos on low-end laptops. It will make your preview playback much smoother. For example, here is the timeline after I use render button. The preview is very smooth. Tip number 7, always lock the track that you've finished editing whenever you want to copy and paste other objects on the timeline. To do that, just click on the lock icon at the beginning of any track. 
For example, if I want to copy and paste this title box on the timeline, I will lock all other tracks on the timeline, then I can easily copy and paste it without affecting other tracks on the timeline. Tip number 8, save your title as a preset. When editing videos, you will need to add text title, lower third to your video very often. So, don't forget to save it as a preset so that you can use it in other projects. To do that, customize the title like the way you want in Film or a 9 text editor. Then, click this Save as Preset button to save it for later use. To use this template in your new project, just go to the Title tab, select Custom, then drag and drop it onto the timeline to create the same text title. Tip number 9, if you're on a busy editing timeline and want to move a number of clips at the same time, don't forget to use Film or a 9 Group Clip feature. To do that, highlight all the clip you want to group, right click and select Group at the pop-up menu. Now you can move all the objects at once without affecting each clip. Finally, to avoid leaving black space in your video, don't forget to close all empty gaps before exporting your project. Due to that, highlight everything on the track you want to check, right click and select close gap. Alright, that's all I want to share with you in this video. I hope it can help you make better videos using Filmora 9. If you have any question, let me know at the comment section below. Thanks very much for watching and I will see you in my next videos. Bye for now.